guys and welcome to the Renault Megane RS Cup. Okay guys, let's discuss the 2018 Megane RS Cup. You'll notice that I'm changing gear with this hand and that is because the cup is manual only whereas the Lux is EDC only. So yeah, that's first things first, right? You get the Lux, you get the cup and then later on you're going to get the trophy. This car is really quick. I'm, I'm really going quickly here. <laughs> I'm going to slow it down. But all oh, the Brembo brakes are really good. So let's just get this out of the way. I think that this is the hottest looking hot hatch available today. Hands down. This car has all the right bulges and all the right places like here you know, on the side fenders. It's got an aggressive front end. The rear end looks as close to a touring car as you're going to get. I just think this car is absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. And especially finished in the serious yellow, which is like this gold yellow paint, which looks so cool. Topped off with the 19-inch rims. Uh, this, is like, this is a winner. Absolutely, this is a winner when it comes to looks. When it comes to the interior, however, I feel that the exterior looks far surpass the interior. Yes, the steering wheel is pretty cool, and the digital instrument cluster is also pretty cool, which, I mean, it, it changes with, depending on what driving mode you're in. But, uh, I mean, it looks nice. I don't like, I don't like the screen, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the screen's graphics. I mean, they're pretty cool, but I just feel that the plastic around the screen, that's a bit cheap. And also the plastics over here are really nice, but these down here are pretty cheap. And on the doors, it's pretty not nice. But I uh, digress. Other things, I mean, this plastic over here, also the gear lever. Although some say there's a weird shape. I, I think it's okay. One of the big issues though is when you have cups or, or water bottles or whatever in the cup holders and you want to change gear, it's, it's either like this or you got to come around this way and change gear. So, mm. however, practicality inside this car, it's on par with everything out there. Um, this being a newer and better Megan RS, Renault has focused more on it to be better for every day. I've been driving it every day over the December holidays. So I have found it to be pretty practical. I mean, it comes only four door now. So gone are the days where you had a two door Megan RS. It's now four door only. Um, seats are quite comfy and quite supportive. There's a big boot, there's space in the rear, there's air vents at the back there for passengers when you start driving like a maniac and they start getting hot flushes and freaking out and wanting to throw up and yeah you know who you are anyways apple carplay via the usb ports it's cool but what i don't like is that it, it the screen is vertical right so then you'd expect the apple carplay to be vertical but it doesn't it comes across horizontal so then there's like all this space wasted on the screen but Regardless of that, the biggest issue about the screen and the system here is when you want to change the fan speed, right? So you have to click on this tiny little fan icon, right? Now bearing in mind this car has a cup chassis, so it's pretty much bouncy all over the shop, right? So anyways, you got to click on this little button, then you got to adjust the fan, there we go. Now it stays there. So in order to get back to the navigation or music, you want to click the back arrow, or if now you want it down a bit, you got to put it down a bit like this, and you want to click the back arrow, and then, yeah, it's a bit of a schlep for air. I would have liked just the dial. I mean, there are these two massive dials over here to adjust the temperature. Yeah. Reno, you could have just put a little fan button there. Also, the volume controls are so a bit silly. They don't always 
work. However, the one behind the steering wheel, phenomenal. I love this thing. It's almost like a flappy paddle gearbox controller gear lever thing, but it's for the radio and it, it works great. You can skip songs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So as as far as living with the thing and using the things and interacting with everything, it's okay. It's not phenomenally brilliant, but it's okay. What is kind of really good is the steering wheel over here. You see, this controls all four wheels. So the Megan RS now has four control, which means that the front wheels and the back wheels turn. So at low speed, it turns opposite to the front wheels. At high speed, it turns in the same direction. This improves agility and handling, and it does take some time to get used to, but yeah, I drove my Golf 6 GTI the other day and it felt like shit, seriously. This is so cool, like the turn in and pinpoint accuracy, and it makes every traffic circle so much fun. I love it. So, the McGann RS has, wait for it, a 1.8 liter four cylinder turbocharged motor which does 205 kilowatts and 390 newton meters of torque. That's a lot for a 1.8. And this thing shifts. this really bumpy little back row but I wanted to bring it on here just to see what it does and despite the bumps and despite the stiff chassis it's actually pretty good and it's not bouncing around as much as say a top R would so after spending a good amount of time in this seat behind this wheel oh, yeah brakes are working good I can I can say that thing is fantastic it plays the part of the middleman really well like a golf gti unfortunately as good as what it is doesn't feel like this doesn't feel so razor sharp so pinpoint so focused as what this does however this doesn't feel as focused as what say the top r does and yet it's easier to live with than the top r uh, and it's a little more exciting than a Golf GTR. So it sits in the middle. It plays 
the boy racer slash everyday performance hatchback that does normal driving really well I like it I really do I just wish other people would like it as much as what I do um, because here in South Africa something like this it's just not going to sell as much as what a Golf GTI would or the Focus ST you know but I do feel that this is all round just as good as the other of those cars it's incredibly fast this gear box is so good it's a treat an absolute treat to drive and it's an absolute treat to drive quickly that's the thing it encourages you to be naughty Apart from the screen, which I don't like, and the little buttons you've got to push for the air vent, and a few beeps, like the beeps that it makes are a bit annoying, like when you run low on fuel, or if you... Yeah, I don't know. Other than that, it's a phenomenal car. It looks fast. It is fast. It handles superbly. I don't know. I, people have asked me, they were like, so, would you buy it? And I think, yes, I would. I would buy this car if I had the money. Um, as much as I love a Golf GTI, and I do have a Golf 6 GTI, but as much as I love it, this is, this is car guy stuff. This right here. This is car guy stuff. And Renault has always been like that. Renault have always given us cars that appeal to the petrol head. Renault Sport does a fantastic job in giving us great handling cars that will hit the track all day, every day. I just feel that this new one, this has crossed the line a little bit with a slight bit of compromise, some would say, um, over to being a more universal car. Something that my wife could drive, you know, easily, and she does, um, to something I can take now on a mountain road and blast it along and feel absolutely thrilled with everything. It's a good car. It really is. And that is my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.